The executive meeting of the Meghalaya Pradesh Congress Committee was held on Friday to discuss various matters concerning the Congress Party in the state. Those present included the President of the MPCC, Vincent H. Pala, Working President Pinchgan N. Siem, and Working President from the Garo Hills, Deborah Marak, members of the District Council, members of the Mahila Congress, members of the Youth Congress besides others. Briefing reporters after the meeting, the Working President of the MPCC, Pinchgan N. Siem, informed that a discussion was held to strengthen the Congress Party across all levels, the enrollment drive being conducted in the state, the suspension of the five MLAs of the party who are supporting the MDA government, wherein a response to the show cause notice issued to them is awaited, and various other issues of the party. Well, we are discussing about how to strengthen the party at different level, right from the primary unit, the PCC, the DCC and the MPCC. And also in our today meeting, we have also uh, come to a conclusion to appoint in charge at the district level, at the block level, in coordination with the MPCC, to see that every unit, every BCC uh, should be very strong at the grassroots level. So we also held to a meeting with the representative from the ICC, Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Ahmed, MLA from Assam, who is the military uh, officer of the ICC. Uh, we also discussed today about the enrollment drive of the party ending by before March before we face the election at the organization of the ICC. So we are also discussing about the suspension of five MLAs that Shogos has, has been already issued to them. But for this, or, uh, for other necessary action, it has been entrusted to the president of MPCC, working president, vice president, along with the DCC president to take a final decision in regards with the uh, suspension of this five MLA. That are the few points that we have discussed today. We also discussed about the coming election, how to make sure that every candidate should have a chance to win in the next election. On the status of the Congress party in the Garo Hills, working president of the MPCC, Deborah Marak, stated that MLAs are not the only people who can determine the victory of the party in elections. She added that in fact, it is the support of people at the grassroots level that will be effective towards the Congress party winning the upcoming Legislative Assembly elections of 2023. Leaders vote, they are coming and going. We don't vote up for that. But our main concern is with our voter. And uh, you all know, always the Congress vote is there. So we have vote bank, our vote bank. So we always go with the grassroots level. Because of them only we are winning. Because of them only we become leader. So we are very much hopeful we will do well in 2020. When voter doesn't, uh, when voter really gets angry, no? so they will not vote for uh, the leader, they will vote for the uh, party. Member of the Congress Party, Erwin K. Sutnga, who had spoken about the non-implementation of the mining policy in the state of Meghalaya, said that as per provisions of the MMDA Act of the Minerals Concessions Rules 1960, the status of private landowners has been declared the same as the government, thereby allowing for mining to take place in such areas. However, this has still date not been implemented in the state of Meghalaya, Sutnga termed the MDA government as one which is of the rich, by the rich and for the rich. The High Court has its own system and this system in the interest of justice, we are fully confident that it will be implemented. I also have one uh, point to raise before the press. 
The MDA government in the past four and a half years, they have been, uh, they have been, they have made the people a fool. When they came to power, they said that we will implement the mining policy, we will implement the law so that all the people will get to mine. Now what has happened? This government has become a government for the rich, by the rich, of the rich. The common people are not being allowed to mine. The, the provisions of the uh, MMDA Act, of the Mineral Concession uh, Rules 1960, which states that where uh, mining in uh, lands which are not private, uh, which are not government land, but in private land, the owner shall be de declared the same status as the government. This has not been done by this government. If this had been done, then mining could have been done by every per person who had an interest in the mining. So because of that, you see, it, it becomes, ultimately it becomes irrelevant whether the government will agree to CBI or not agree because the High Court has its own powers. They have taken cognizance of this. And we have full confidence that justice will be done, especially since we have seen that the High Court is very serious about this matter. And they have also taken a swarm of cognizance of this matter. This is not that somebody has gone to the High Court and then said that, uh, no, we have a grievance. But they have taken so much uh, cognizance of this and we are very much uh, hopeful that justice will be done in this case.